Hello, Life Outside podcast listeners and viewers. It's Danny again. As I continued my trip last winter through the Mojave Desert, I was so excited to finally get to Death Valley. But the valley part was pretty cold and still wintry. I'm in Death Valley National Park and it is 50. like the sun-seeking desert lizard that I am, I really wanted sun. So I kind of drove through the park that day. I knew I'd be back. But as I drove along Badwater Road, I did look over to see if I could figure out where the Death Valley Germans camped and then ultimately disappeared. This is Badwater it's pretty neat. Um, it's what lured people into Death Valley from above. They thought that there was water down there, but it's just a big salt flat. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a fun part of the valley, and you can pretty much walk as far or as little as you want. I do have a secret for you, though. If you drive past Bad Water, there are a couple spots to pull over, and then you can wander around in a more private area of the salt flats. Not that it was busy that day. Do be prepared for wind and on a day like this, definitely cold. But I don't think it's not been windy when I've been in this area of Death Valley. It doesn't matter how many times I've been here, I'm always fascinated by the landscape and the ground. It's just not like anything else that I've ever seen anywhere. It is funny, the minerals in Death Valley are kind of why people started paying attention to it, at least in modern Western civilization. I do think it's really interesting that Death Valley didn't even become a national park until 1994, along with Joshua Tree. That's probably a nod to the love of mountains over desert, which is understandable. And then on the other side, past Jubilee Pass, there was blue sky and sun for the first time on my trip. I was psyched. So I decided to find a spot to stay just past Jubilee Pass. I've really started to embrace dispersed camping, and I appreciate the land that is available for that purpose. This spot was super sweet. It's along a road just past Jubilee Pass, and there's a few sites and then a four-wheel drive only road that continues back into the canyon. And for anyone keeping track, my aloe plant that I'd been traveling with was holding on. I had hopes for it now that I was in warmer weather, but I didn't know if it was going to survive or not. I jumped at the opportunity of warm weather, no wind and no rain to kind of clean out my car home and get organized, get some new clothes out. I was happy to put away some of my winter clothes. But I made lunch, breakfast. It's like three (laughs) o'clock. I'm finally eating. I was also super psyched to get into the rituals that I like to do when I'm in the desert or living outside. Making coffee, sitting on a rock, reading, writing, meditating. Just being outside and really enjoying it.
I also took advantage of the time and weather to do a little bit of much needed house cleaning. But then the sun started to set and I was reminded of why I'm really out there to connect with nature, to just stop, to be reverent, and to appreciate the beauty of this world. I started making dinner and then I saw that the sunset got really good. If you know anything about me, you probably know that I am a fangirl for sunrises and sunsets, and that's a big part of why I like to be out. The start and stop to the day, it's just a good way to pace oneself and to know who you are and know why you are. That, of course, applies to the moon and its phases as well. It's something that I don't notice when I'm in a house, but when I'm living outside, I'm definitely connected to the days, the nights, and the different phases of the moon. Another thing I love to do is to climb up to the highest hills that I can. And the next day I did just that to get a good look around, get some exercise, and just stretch my legs. definitely had settled into my life on the road, my life living out of my car, in my life outside. It just felt so right, but I did have to get going. I didn't have food forever, and I needed to get back to service to record. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, or outside.